God damn, you feel like a badass. We will dance. Hello and welcome, this is Thunderbob, and I've got a problem. I have too many Steam games. You can see I have hundreds and hundreds of Steam games, and I have not played enough of these. So my plan is to take the top 20 games as determined by Steam reviews that I have not played, put them into a random picker to determine the next game to play, and I'll give the game about a half hour from which I'll create a video and give my initial impression. So let's get started and find out what today's game will be. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and if you get any suggestions for games to add to this list, please leave a comment below. And the game today is going to be... My friend Pedro. Hello everyone, uh, this is a new segment I am starting related to the first 30 minutes of a game I've never experienced before. I've never booted this up, I've never tried it out, and uh, just going in blind. I know just a little bit about this, I've maybe seen like one short trailer once. Um, and basically I'm going to play it for about half an hour and then I'll cut a video together. It won't be a full 30 minute video, but kind of the highlights of my game time. And uh, from there, uh, I'll, you know, see if I liked it, if I'm going to keep playing it. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video in the future. Uh, so let's get started. Hey. Wake up. That is a banana with a face. I'm gonna limit this to non virtual reality games. I'm gonna have some other segments for VR games. <laughs> so, Pedro. It's a banana. It's interesting, it's a 2D game, but it feels, uh, you know, very 3D. When you move around the world, it, it, the camera shifts, it's really cool. I got a gun. When do I get to start shooting some people? The music is pretty cool. I like this. I guess I gotta kill them all now. No shooting through the walls apparently. Not Counter Strike. Feels like um, like Tony Hawk style like combo systems apply to a 2D shooting game. It's really inventive. All right, I messed that up. a lot more bullets than you would think to die. Turrets. Oh. These controls are getting complicated.
basically just feels like a badass cool moment simulator, the game. It's like Max Payne meets Tony Hawk with the Matrix. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna stop playing this half an hour. It's pretty fun. I'm trying to think of what this game feels like, uh, and I'm having trouble. The closest analog is definitely Max Payne, but with, uh, you know, like a combo system and just really smart controls. Complicated but smart. Oh yeah, I got a split aim. Probably would have helped with this thing. Um, God damn, you feel like a badass. We'll dance. Oh, well, there's like a running log at the bottom. I didn't even notice that with everything you're doing. So this is totally like, totally like Tony Hawk. Score based. You can get like the replay of your coolest moments. Damn, this is a cool game. I'm totally digging this. It's almost like they're adding some puzzle elements now. I, thought, I was hoping there would be more than just combat here. But the combat's cool enough really to sustain this game. But adding some more mechanics is always nice. Target that guy. And shoot that dude. Three, two, one. Slow mo, motherfucker. It's almost like a strategy game where you gotta anticipate how you're gonna do the next round. I should probably reload the four encounters. Good. Yeah, no, 
Didn't die. Didn't die. Was not expecting guys to pop out like that. I was like setting up over here and then kind of popped out. Oh, damn it, reloading again. That's gonna get me killed. I feel like this is a game like Mario where if you just move really fast, the levels are set up in such a way that like you can just kind of uh, streamline it and just kind of go off instinct. Maybe I'm just not moving fast enough. Or maybe I suck, I'm not sure. No, it can't be me. Badass moment here. I'm like literally shooting a machine gun right at above their head. Beautiful. Gun master. I, I know the gun kata. I went to gun kata school. I got too many bullets. I did flunk gun kata though. It was my second major. No, I don't have unlimited ammo. Maybe I shouldn't just spray ammo. Like I do. Do a little dance. Do a little love. Do a little love. Nope. I fell. That, that was not what I meant to do. Excellent! Okay, I'll take that. Feels like a pity uh, excellent, but I uh, will take it. It keeps telling me you should probably dodge, idiot. I feel when I dodge, I can't shoot them, so it's kind of kind of productive. All right, we're gonna do one more level, but I think I definitely will come back to this game in the future. This game basically just makes you feel like a badass the entire time. How do you just reload two guns while swinging on a rope? I am swinging down using my legs. That is the most badass thing I've done today. In a video game.
automatic entrance kill. I love all the random messages you get when you kill people in cool ways. late puzzles. Alright, I, I do like this game quite a bit. Um, I will probably come back to this and maybe do a follow-up video, you know, when I actually get good at it, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Overall, uh, I would definitely recommend checking this out. It is a ton of fun. Um, bullet time, score challenges, like just trying to go for the most cinematic, awesome kills, it's amazing. I'm kicking balls into hoops? Uh, so, if you uh, like this video, like my content, please subscribe. Uh, you know, if you have any suggestions for games for future videos, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be adding and taking games away from that list as I play more, and um, you know, I'm going to try to do this about once a week, and then eventually I'm going to get through all 800 or so of my Steam games, maybe 400 of those I haven't played before, so this might take a while, but uh, I intend to play a lot of them. So, again, thank you for watching, have a great day.